Okay, so this is the um, single player spawn or offline spawn, as some people refer to it. Uh, this spawn, the uh, the main focus is usually the spawn down here, um, called the red blinking spawn. There's a red blinking light down there. But typically, if you uh, as soon as you spawn in, you drop down, come down this ramp, crouch, and aim down there. You usually have the advantage of seeing that person stick their head or arm out before uh, they can really even see you or get a shot on you. Typically they will take off running down the hallway which allows you to uh, take them out if you desire. Um, sometimes they will rush up this way and head toward behind those boxes. If they go behind those boxes, just shoot through them, uh, you'll be able to take them out pretty easily. Now if um, someone is down there and they're not moving very much, they're not uh, going to take uh, one way or the other, they're not going to go or come. They're just going to wait you out. Someone is very patient, most are not. Then uh, if you're here for very long, you're going to have to worry about that door right there. Typically, people who are in the um, barrel spawns will come through those doors. Um, sometimes they will actually come down the ramp here. But a lot of times they'll come through those doors, and if you're sitting here not paying attention and you've waited too long, uh, you will get shot in the side. Now if you decide to uh, make a move on this person or you're, or you're an aggressive player, if you start heading on this ramp, uh, you've lost the advantage. These pipes in the ceiling are going to block your view and they're going to have the shot on you. So if you plan to do it, uh, be sure of yourself and quickly move into this area over here so that you can pop out and take shots. Sometimes calves can come down this ramp when you come over here, um, so be wary of that. And if you do move down that, uh, don't forget about the barrel spawn coming through those doors because it can come up behind you. So that is the main focus, main and I guess secondary focus, those two different spawns of this map. Now, how I typically play it is I will drop down here work on this person down here trying to take them out. If they run away, then I'll let them go. Sometimes. I will usually come down here, check for any scavs that may be around, uh, peek bridge room, look for anyone uh, up in bridge room I can take shots at that may have gone up the stairs or see their head through the slats, through the slits in the, uh, in the bridge or through that hole. If I don't find anything, I'll come back and double check and make sure red blinking light is not coming up behind me and I'll continue to move down this way. So you can can come down this way and um, you know you have a couple different options. You can run through silos. And go up that ladder into the offices or continue on uh, to the back side where the other three spawns are on this map. I typically come down here, go up this this um, the stairs quietly and go through this door and I use any gunfire or other people moving around to cover my, uh, my movement sounds. I usually uh, spin that part of the map, first part of the map, listening to other players, trying to determine where people are at, um, what weapons people are using, and um, that allows me to play the game that I want. So that is this spawn. So if you spawn here, this is called the barrel spawn because of the barrels in the hallway. Um, the main focus here, really you don't have a lot of people that typically come this way, and if they do, they're going to come from single player, either out that door or over there. Um, red blinking light, which is in the tunnels, may come up that ramp over there and come this way and use these containers as cover to move toward the ladder, the uh, stairs there, or that platform over there. So, really you don't have to worry about too much. Now, so no single player spawn will run um, out of that doorway where those white crates are over to this 
uh, set of stairs appear to loop those boxes. And sometimes the red blinking light will run down the hallway, come up those stairs to loop that box. That gives you plenty of opportunity to pick them off. Because you can sit right here, you can wait for them to run by, and um, you can take shots at them. And um, if you're good enough, you can take them out. You can actually stand right here, and you can shoot the person who is looting the crate um, that may have come up from Red Ring from the Light. You may have to worry about the scavs that come up the ramp over there, but uh, typically you're pretty safe. Now, how do I typically play this spawn? Well, if I spawn here, you get a couple of choices. One is to go out here. Now, I don't like to play in it. I don't like to play exposed. So there's a lot of exposure out here. Um, people could go up the stairs down there, run along the rafters, and you're exposed to them. And um, you got people who um, just maybe running out in the open. You got other scavs that may spawn in. People that could already be in offices by the time you get there. Um, you're exposed out in the open, so I would typically like to stay in an area that's not exposed. So I usually come down this hallway and check um, single player spawn over there that could be peeking. Don't see anything. I will come through here, go through this little doorway. I usually will walk through here, not um, not fast. I'll walk slowly through here. I may peek out here at the uh, openings, the doorway, and the hole up there for, for players in the area to be up there. Let's go through this door and I engage or verify the new ones here. I'll work my way down the ramp and up those stairs. I hardly ever um, go out into the open areas until later in the round when I know most of the players have already escaped or are dead and there are very few scavs left. Okay, if you spawn here, this is the red blinking light because there's a red blinking light. Um, this is probably one of the worst spawns. I, I hate that. This one in Breach. Uh, terrible spawns. Of course, I'm not a big fan of uh, barrels either. But uh, at least there's um, not a whole lot of danger in barrels. Um, the thing you have to note here, as I talked about in the single player spawn, is the person may peek the corner, just like I taught you. And if he does, he's got the advantage, so don't peek. What you want to do is you want to get to where you're almost peeking mode. You want to step out and step back in really fast and check, see if there's someone there. They will typically fire at you, but by that time that they fire at you, you'll be stepping back in and they will miss. Do that a few times and you're actually going to bait them to come down the hallway as soon as they start coming down, as I talked about before, they're going to lose sight of you and you're going to have them in your own crosshairs and you can take them out. Now, if you're an aggressive player, do not run up behind these boxes, even if you're crouching down. They're going to shoot you through them and you're going to die. Um, so that, that's your main focus, is single player. Secondary focus is going to be this hallway here. There is a spawn on the other side of silos that sometimes people will run through here in order to get to office. So be wary of that. Use your ears. Listen carefully. Um, and if you're here for very long, uh, just be alert. Because uh, you could have someone come on behind you. Now how I typically like to play this spawn is I will check this first. And see if I can uh, single player spawn person is either coming this way or could be going above me running out in the open. If they're running out in the open then I will go and check the ramp, check the bridge room like we talked about earlier and then um, move back this direction and go up the stairs. I usually don't like to go to silos because they uh, are exposed a little bit, but not, there's nothing really that way that I care for until later in the game. You can go silos and over to the uh, white light spawn. The 
the silo spawn, some people call it, which is uh, around the end. We'll talk about that here in a few minutes. So that is red blinking light. Okay, so this is white light spawn or silo spawn, and you don't have to worry too much about people coming this way. Typically, red blinking light spawn doesn't come here. They go, if they come this direction into silos, they'll go upstairs to the office. But if you come over here, you do have to worry about the spawn that is below the breach room. Because they can peek that corner, and then you have scavs that can also come down the ramp. And forklifts sometimes may decide to come down the ramp to work their way undercover in the tunnels. So, they, uh, they could all come up behind you here as you sit and wait for people to come this way. Be wary of that. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot of danger down here. You're fairly well protected and you have a lot of cover with the uh, corners. You can usually hear people coming so you can get prepared, get set up, and um, pop anyone who comes around. If you get in this area, you do, you are at kind of a disadvantage because the sound quality in Tarkov, the, the sound quality is good, but the directional sound is a little off. So, it may be hard to determine sometimes whether they're coming down this hallway or this hallway, and uh, you could choose wrong and get shot in the back. So be wary of that. Now, how I like to play this spawn is a couple different ways. As soon as I spawn in, um, I will sprint immediately up here here, and I'm usually the first one here, so you can play this part a couple different ways too. You can sit here and wait to hear people walking on this platform, take them out, or people coming up these steps as they come through the door down there. Or if you want to play it a little safer, you can duck in here and wait for them to come in and use the wall as cover. That's, that's uh, we have played it a lot, and I'm usually fairly successful with that aspect of it. Now, sometimes I don't play it that way, and I will go in here and peek and see what this person does. A lot of times they will actually um, breach the door in, uh, in the breach room and run out in the open, so I will push and dealing with any scabs that may come down the ramp and then I wait to see what forklift um, if they come down the stairs at the end of this tunnel. The disadvantage of coming this way, which I normally do, and pushing all the way down is as you can tell the um, view distance is not that great. And so you may not be able to tell someone's down here until it's too late and you're already down the tunnel and you have no cover. So they can take you out fairly easily. So be leery of that. <coughs> you could also push up this uh, ramp out into the open and around into this area. The problem is if this door gets breached or any of those three doors someone comes out of or a forklift spawn can also look through the windows and take you out. So it's a really exposed, probably the um, most exposed area, uh, especially at the beginning of a round, to be at. So take, be very cautious if you decide to do that and go that route. Now this is the breach room spawn. Uh, for the simple fact that up here, this door must be breached exit. Now. This door has been added very recently to where you can open it, but um, you will spawn down here. So you do have a couple different things to focus on. The main focus is those stairs down there. Forklift spawn person may come down those stairs and come down this hallway. If they do, you've got to be concerned about that. Second 
guy spawned at white light. Um, or silo spawn can come down this tunnel. And you have the scavs that come down the ramp. So you can come over here and engage this person. But if you do, you be leery and be aware that forklift person can come down those stairs still and shoot you on the side. Now, how I typically play it is if I spawn here, I will check and use the corners um, to see if forklift person comes down. Um, if you're close enough, you can see the outline of the stairs so you can see if come on, someone comes down barely. So if you're still enough, they may not see you until you've already fired a shot and you may have the advantage. Let's be careful of that. Also, I may come through this door, um, especially if I hear forklift drive off, or drive off. If I hear the forklift person run away, heading toward offices or going through one of these doors out into the open. I never go up ramp for the uh, reasons I talked about previously with uh, the silo or white light spawn. Finally we have the forklift spawn and the reason it's called that is because of all these forklifts. Now to, you really only have one main focus and that is this door. Well I guess the person that spawns in a breach room. He could either A come through this door or B, come up these stairs. Uh, my experience has been they mostly come through the door probably 9 out of 10 times if they come to me. Otherwise, they'll actually run, go up the ramp, or through silos. So, choose either through the door or up the, up the stairs. Now, that's usually the only person you have to worry about. So just be aware of that because you will have to engage them. Now, which ways can you go? Well, you can go out either one of these three doors. So down here. Which takes you out in the open. Not a choice I would recommend, but some people like that. They're definitely a little more tactical. You can go through that door, down the stairs, under the breach room, and through the tunnels to silo, and into the offices. Or you can go down this hallway, which is typically what I like to do, is going down this hallway. You can peek these windows, watch for people, um, breach room or silo spawn to come up that ramp, and um, any scavs that come over there by that doorway. You can usually get some good shots off. If you come down this hallway, you can engage people over here in that area and sometimes you can get into some engagements here if you work your way toward the office so that's really all of the spawns um, and that's fairly brief there's not a whole lot to the spawns at factory uh, they're pretty simple and straightforward nothing's really changed too much on them um, I don't plan to cover the scab spawns um, so Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Until next time, adios.